Yo, yeah, what up, YouTube? <clears throat> I know it's been a minute since uh, I posted any type of video. Um, so basically, just to get straight into it, um, today, today is uh, May 19th. Um, today marks exactly three months since um, since my mom. Uh, passed away and uh, just kind of wanted to you know share what I've been going through thoughts, emotions for these past three months um, basically because one I'm not okay and I believe I made a choice what I was going to decide um, how I was going to approach the content that I choose to put out on this YouTube channel of mine and you know for you subscribers and the viewers and um, the new followers you know that that are on here at the end of the day I wanted to convert this channel into you know self self development self awareness um a space where you know we can be honest transparent um not not being judgmental um you know self motivating inspiring you know being here for each other and um and it's all about growth and evolving into the individual that you want to be because of the past that I have, um, the shit that I've been through, um, the path that I'm choosing to be on, being a father for um, taking care of my family and now <clears throat> dealing with the whole new type of grief, pain, emptiness, confusion, sometimes anger, hate, um, depression, you know, to the point where I have to take time for myself because, you know, I have to watch, you know, my mental health, um, questioning questioning God questioning the universe challenging my beliefs um, all into that you know into that perspective all in that realm of things um, it's been a challenge and it's and for me honestly videos and books and individuals that I've spoken with who have lost parents and loved ones especially I mean the main thing that I want to know is you know if you lost a parent mother father and of, of course you know I've, I've lost family members um, I've lost friends um, you know that have passed away but this is my mother my mom and it's three months actually today and it's taken a lot of me <clears throat> to ex to put this out you know it's it's very personal it's very she meant a lot to me a lot and I miss her I miss her every day um, I'm still kind of trying to process everything and I'm still kind of in disbelief that she's no longer here in the physical form and uh, of course you know you you get the cliche shit that you know the family members and friends say um, my clients you know acquaintances they, they all say you know she's in a better place she's no longer hurting now you have an angel watching over you now you have an angel you can call by name um, she'll always be watching over you you know things like that do I believe it of course you know uh, I'm I'm a spiritual uh, I'm, you know I'm spiritual myself I do believe in God I do you know believe in a higher power I do believe 
um, the type of energy you choose to put out in the universe is what you is what you attract, what you get into return. Um, but fuck, man, it's it's this was a tough one because it's, it's my mom. Like it's my mom, you know. And um, I guess let let's let let me say. It's a, it's a lot of thoughts and emotions that I've gone through. Um, so I guess let me try to, because at the end of the day, this is this is this is this is helping with my healing. This is helping with me coping with it. This is some form form of therapy. Me speaking about it in the open instead of me holding it in. So at the end of the day, I I feel this video was for myself. But if I'm able to inspire and help you, if you have lost a loved one and help you you know grieve and, and and cope with the loss and give you some type of hope and inspiration then this is what that video was for so i want to give you some type of value um that is still fairly fresh for me yes uh, well i update more videos that is the plan you know it did take me three months today was three months um I just didn't feel right mentally and emotionally to make a video. I would probably be crying like a bitch all over the video um, if I did it sooner than today. Um, but I've dealt with it. I've, I, at the end of the day, bills don't give a fuck who has passed. Bills don't give a fuck how you're feeling. Bills, bills don't give a fuck how what you're going through. Um, at the end of the day, life goes on. If you look all around you, people are still driving, people are still moving, businesses are still operating, people, other people are still dying, people are still getting sick with this COVID shit, people are still getting sick in general, any type of diseases or accidents and shit like that, murders, um, think, you know, you turn on the fucking news or you look in Instagram or wherever the fuck YouTube and things are happening still in the world, so just because you're 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 in pain and you're depressed and you're sad and you miss someone you lost a loved one doesn't mean that the fucking world stopped because it doesn't and it doesn't care about how you're feeling and i've realized that now it doesn't mean that you're not going to able to continue life it doesn't mean that you can't learn from this pain it doesn't mean that you can't use this pain for something great, something good. Because at the end of the day, you have a purpose. And for whatever reason they may be, my mother is no longer here. She already served her purpose here on earth. Um, so the best thing that I can do is be the best version of myself. To continue to make her proud. To do what I feel she would want me to do. Remember the things that she taught me. And the way and the way she would raise me and brought me up. To be, you know, basic shit. Like be respectful, be loving, be a man of God. Do good. Um, follow your dreams. Never give up. Be a great father. Um... You know, things like that. You know, my mom was a great spirit, loving person. She loved her grandkids. She loved her family. She, you know, she loved my father. She loved my brother. She loved the mother of my kids. She loved everyone. All of my friends, you know, throughout the years, everyone who had walked through that door, she fed, she greeted, she treated them like their, their own, her own kids. We probably got on her nerves. We probably caused her so much stress. I've caused her so much pain from the choices that I that I made in the beginning of my life. Um, because she was a great mother. She she took care of me. She 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 raised me the best way she can. Uh, you know, especially with my father always working. It was just her. You know, so she had to support my father help him run the business, still give him attention, still give me and my brother attention, still be a nurturing, uh, you know, nurturing mother, loving mother, caring mother, and, you know, 
she did her very best until the very end and and she was so full of life and I know she wanted to, she wanted so hard to fight and she she passed um, from the pneumonia caused by COVID now I'm not gonna get into that because I'm not fully educated all I know is that the pneumonia just spread it you know within her lungs and there was no coming back from that um, I know there's videos and stories that miracles do happen but in this case my mom was dealing with a lot of health issues and believe me she was a fighter she did her very best we did everything possible to keep her safe and for some reason God had a different plan so the only thing I can tell y'all is don't give up do your very best you're gonna have your moments you're gonna have your days you're gonna break down let it out please make videos write it down speak to somebody speak to your loved one even if you feel that they're you know even if you even if you're not getting a response back they're listening and if for whatever reason you feel they're not let it out anyways sit in your car go for a walk do something to not have that all that bundled in because it's not healthy it's not good you have to heal some way you doesn't mean that you're gonna forget your loved one doesn't mean that I'm gonna forget my mother because I'll never forget that mother my mother there's an emptiness in my heart that will never be fucking filled again never I have her image her voice in my head and I will never forget her but I know my mother and she would all she wanted was the best for her children all she wanted was the best for my for my kids and for her family and the last thing she told me was take care of your family you know take care of you know my grandkids take care of your father and don't fight with your little brother no my little brother ain't little no more he's fucking 26 but you know she just said take care of each other and that and that and, and at, during that time you know i was like nah mom i'll see you when you get home everything's gonna go good you're gonna get better you're gonna heal doctors are doing everything possible um steroids antibiotics the medicine everything that they're giving you mom it's all gonna work you're, you know god's gonna heal you we stay optimistic we we're praying for a miracle we did everything everything possible i know the doctors work very hard as well I, you know, some some people have their thoughts and opinions on that, but it it was out of our hands. It was out of our hands, especially her being COVID positive. You know, there was only so much we could do. It's not like we can walk into the hospital. There were still restrictions here, and you know, I don't I don't want to get into much of that. It's it's more of the of the mental of the mentality. It's more of how to control your emotions. It's how, it's more of how to grieve. It's more out of cope, you know. So I hope I, I give you some motivation and some inspiration that at the end of the day, I'm still struggling with it. I'm still hurting every day. I still fucking cry. I still break down. But then I have my days where I laugh. I smile. I try to be okay. I need to be okay. Cause I still have my kids, I still have a business run, I still have family to take care of, I still have myself to take care of, I still have a goal, I still have dreams, I still have a purpose, I still have a path that I'm walking on, and I gotta prove to God that I'm still living with purpose because at the end of the day I don't want him to get rid of my ass without me doing what the fuck I gotta do before he clocks me out. So keep that in mind too, make sure you do what you got to do with each day, with the time that you're given. Because all this shit is temporary. Don't take nothing for granted. Don't don't hold any grudges. Try not to stress so much. I know it's hard. I know it's difficult. But find a way. You can definitely do it. Alright, so hopefully, you know, I just wanted to give you an update. Just wanted to give you hope. Just wanted to give you motivation. And um, if you feel like giving up, don't don't because there's a reason for all this pain there's a reason for all this loss 
and uh, you gotta find that you got to find the strength within you you gotta find your reason you gotta find your why and I motivate you to do that and I believe you will and um, just keep echele ganas echele ganas a la vida okay give this life all of you give this life all that you can okay and keep it moving keep pushing don't give up alright peace